Oh my gosh, back to back cast, guys. This one definitely feels better. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get one right here. No doubt. Told y'all, that's a better one. Yep, that's a good one. Yep. There we go, guys. One of the better fish of the day. There's one. Oh my God, dude, he ate it right in front of me. That was sick. He crushed it. Guys, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, right in front of me. Hopefully the camera picked that up. Hey guys, welcome back. We got a little bit of a different video for you guys today. So Shimano just came out with the new Shimano Scorpion DC, the 2021 model. And I have the old 2017 model, which I've used a ton in a lot of videos. I love that reel to death and it's just my main reel. It's got a lot of fish on it, zero issues, but I am really excited to try out the new reel. So as you can see, here is the 2017 model, Shimano Scorpion DC. I love this reel. It's caught tons and tons of fish on it. Zero issues whatsoever. And right here is the new and improved 2021 model. So this just came in the mail a few days ago and this is the first time I will be able to use it. And this thing just looks sick. The overall design is very similar to the old one. And what we are gonna do is, since I do not have a rod for this yet, which I will be picking out a new rod for very soon, just have it decided fully on what I want exactly. But in the meantime, I am just going to take this reel off, put some fresh line on this, slap it on this rod, and the same exact line, same rod, should get pretty good results. So yeah, enough talking. Let's get this spooled up on this rod and get casting. 2017. Going in the bag for now. Got some fresh line, the same exact line I have on that older reel, just 17 pound fluorocarbon. Got the new reel on the rod. Yeah, this thing definitely feels pretty good in my hands. And spool it all up just like that. And the first bait that we are gonna test this with probably is going to be this black and blue swim jig. And if you guys ever wonder what knots I use, 99% of the time I just use a regular polymer knot. I never have issues with this knot, never break off. And it's just what I use because it's very easy to tie, easy and quick. All right, y'all, time to cast this thing. Okay, so we got a rod ready to go. Tighten up the drag, adjust some settings. And also we got this reel in the eight to five. So that extra high gear ratio. And we're gonna start off with just, you know, we'll just start off with wind mode since we're casting into a wind. So wind mode is, I believe the tightest. So the bait won't go as far more controlled and the lower the gear the farther you can cast and right now we are probably gonna leave it around the two to three probably three and like that this thing casts super easily super smooth as it should i picked this reel up for about 300 bucks for as much as i go fishing and as much as i'm going to use it definitely well worth it almost forgot the internal brakes. You got the P for the braid, N for nylon or monofilament, and the F for fluorocarbon. As you can see, it's already set on the fluorocarbon, which I am using. Oh, yep, there we go, first fish. I'll break my rod. Not a horrible one. Man, see you later, thanks for playing. There we go, first fish down on the new reel. Cast parallel to the main. Yep, another one right on the edge of that grass. This one's a little bit smaller, I think, but it is number two.
Oh my gosh, back to back cast, guys. This one definitely feels better. Oh yeah, dude, that's a good one. Don't come off. Don't come off, baby. There we go, hooks out. Biggest fish of the day, fish number three. See you, buddy. Looking for fish number four. Maybe like a three or four pounder would be nice. But I'm not gonna complain. I'll take whatever I can get. Oh, <laughs> smaller one. See you, buddy. Oh, there's one. Little guy. Fish, what, number five, I believe? Four or five? See you, bud. Shimano overall is probably my favorite for reels, but as far as rods go, I still don't have a favorite. I do like Shimano rods a lot, but haven't really been set on a specific one. This one right here is actually the rigged rod, the favorite rod. And it's pretty nice for the price. I think it was only about 130 bucks and so far I've had no issues with it. I don't know. Still have yet to find my favorite rod. Yep, came back for it. I think it's just a tiny one. Well, he's not horrible. Yeah guys, probably not gonna switch to many other baits tonight, the way they're eating that. Let's go. There's one. Oh, he just came off. There he goes. Put a one pounder. Oh my god, he hit it pretty hard. It's a tiny bit better. Let's go, guys. I knew I'd get one in that cove, in this cove right here. That's a little bit better right there. Man, guys, they are destroying the swim jig right now. See you later. Having a blast out here. There's one. That's another decent fish. There we go. Another decent, decent large mouth. Thanks for playing, buddy. Man, that's two over here by the moving water. I'm gonna get one right here. No doubt. Told y'all. That's a better one, I think. I told y'all I was gonna get one right here. They all keep choking that swim bait, guys. Probably not gonna throw much else tonight. Maybe like a top water right before dark, but I think that's the biggest one so far. There we go, guys. One of the better fish of the day. First cast on this new bank, too. I told y'all I was gonna get bit. Oh my God, dude, he ate it right in front of me. That was sick. I started like jigging it right in front of my feet, right before I pulled it out of the water. And he crushed it. <clears throat> Thank you for biting. That fish ate literally two, three feet off the bank. All right, guys. Caught probably close to 10 fish now. And so far, I'm very pleased with this new Shimano Scorpion DC. Like I said again, this is in the eight to five gear ratio, so the extra high gear ratio, right retrieve. As much as I don't wanna put this bait away, I'm gonna try something different for you guys. I'm gonna try to get some topwater fish. So cut that swim jig off. Now I'm gonna try a white buzz bait. And with buzz baits, I like to use these curly tails, also with like spinner baits and chatter baits, whatever. I really like using these as well as swim baits for trailers, but I really like using these because they're just so inexpensive and 
you go through trailers a lot and this is just extremely affordable and it still looks really good gives it a little bit better of a presentation makes it a little bit more bulky and still gets the job done so there we go got that buzz bait tied on hopefully we can get a topwater fish i haven't caught a fish on a buzz bait in a while I haven't really fished it much this year since the spring but who knows been seeing fish bust there's actually fish busting right in front of me so i feel like i got a good chance Oh my gosh, no, my drag's not set. He hit it as soon as it hit the water. Well, I got a hit on my second cast, so definitely should be able to get something to hit it here in a minute. Yep, that's a good one. Yep. Okay, not as good as I thought, but still a decent fish. There we go, first fish on that white buzz bait. I will take any topwater fish. Oh my gosh, right in front of me. Hopefully the camera picked that up. Just a little guy. Just a little, little guy. There we go. He hit it like a one or two pounder. I thought he was bigger at first. One more fish. That's all I want. Oh, yeah. Yep. One more fish. One more fish. There we go. Awesome day, guys. Nice, breezy, keeps it from getting too hot. Destroyed fish on the black and blue swim bait. Top water action on the buzz bait. I think about three or four fish now. Sun setting, only got a few more moments before it's about to be dark. So let's see if we can get one more lucky fish. All right, y'all, I'm gonna call it right there. No last minute fish, but we did get about three or four fish and a few more blow ups on that buzz bait. Destroyed fish on that swim jig, man. And as far as this reel goes, I'm very impressed with it, very pleased. This new IDC5 braking system, the micro module gears, just everything. If you wanna get really technical with this gear, I suggest you watch the reel test. I believe that's what his channel name is. He gets really in depth and he's part of the reason why I look into these reels, the Shimano Scorpion. 2017 and the 2021. The 2017, I will still definitely use a lot along with the 2021. Two awesome reels, two of my favorite reels that I own and that I've ever used. But the two reels are pretty similar. The new one is definitely smoother, cast a little bit better, and but not by too much. This reel is still worth the price. I would recommend either one of them. But yeah, if you guys want to check out either of these reels, I will leave a link down in the description. If this video helps you guys decide on your future reel, your next one, or if you guys just enjoyed it overall, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. So yeah, I'm going to call it right there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We just passed about 270 subs, so, and I really appreciate the support you guys give. But yeah, other than that, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.